फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लास इन दिस एपिसोड ऑफ क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वी विल सी द क्वेश्चंस ऑन परसेंटेज इट्स टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स हियर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑफ रेक्टेंगल हैव इंक्रीज्ड बाय टेन परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट रिस्पेक्टिव दैट इज लेंथ इज इंक्रीज्ड बाय टेन परसेंट एंड ब्रेथ इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज्ड बाय ट्वेंटी परसेंट both dimensions are increased and we have to find the percent change in the area friends as we know that area is equal to length into breadth it means area is directly proportional to length and breadth is also directly proportional to sorry area is also directly proportional to breadth so if the length increases area increases and breadth increases area increases so what happened here that the area is increased by 10% and breadth is increased by 20% so first we will assume that a length is only increased so what percent so what is the change in the area that we will calculate first so first assume that let the area be 100 square units we are taking it 100 because to take the percentage of 100 is very easy there is no need to remember or memorize any formula we are solving all the questions without using any formula so let the area be 100 now what happened the length is increased by 10% length is increased by 10% so 10% of 100 that will be of course 10 square units so plus 10 so new area will be 110 so when length is increased by 10% the new area will be 110 square units now the breadth is also increased by 20% so 20% of 11 that is 11 to the 22 so it will be increased by 22 square units so we will have to add so 110 plus 22 that will be 132 so the new area will be 132 square units so when the area was 100 the new area after increasing the length and breadth has become 132 so for 100 there is a increase of 32 it means what percent change is there 32% change in the area of a rectangle because of the change in length and change in breadth by 10% and 20% respectively now here is another question on the screen that the length breadth and height of a cuboid have increased by 10% 20% and 30% length is increased by 10% so it is plus 10 breadth is also increased by 20% plus 20% and height is also increased by 30% plus 30% now we what per is the percent change in volume that we have to calculate we know that volume of a cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height it means that volume is directly proportional to length it is also directly proportional to breadth and it is also directly proportional to height 
so if length increases volume increases breadth increases volume increases height increases volume increases now we will calculate the percent change in volume so first we will assume that let the volume be 100 cubic units first 10 percent increase always take 100 because it is easier to calculate the percentage of 100 so 10 percent increase so definitely it will be 10 cubic units uh, so it will be 110 now the breadth is increased by 20 percent so 20 percent of 100 will be what 11 plus 11 10 percent is 11 another 10 percent is 11 so it will be 22 so it will be 132 now the next increase is 32 sorry 30 percent that is height is increased by 30 percent so 30 percent of 132 so it will be what 10 percent will be 13.2 another 10 percent will be 13.2 and another 10 percent will be 13.2 so it will be 39.6 so the increase will be 39.6 so 32 plus 39.6 that will be equal to 71.6 sorry 171.6 because 132 plus 39.6 it will be 171.6 so for 100 the new volume is 171.6 so what percent change is there it is just 71.6 percent change is there it means increase Friends, the another question is that the radius of a circle is increased by 20%. What is the percent change in area of the circle? We know that area of the circle that is equal to pi r square. Pi is a constant term, so it doesn't make any change in the area because it doesn't changes. It means area is directly proportional to radius. If the radius increases, area is also increases. So here radius is two times. So if once the radius is increased, there will be increase in a square two times. So let the area be 100. Now there is increase of 20% in the radius. So area will also increase by 20%. So it will increase by 20 square units because 20% 20 of 100 is 20. And so 100 plus 20 new area will be 120 cubic square units. Now again it is increased by 20% because it is r square not only r so 120 its 20 percent will be what it will be 24 square units because 10 percent will be 10 sorry 12 and another 10 percent will be 12 so total will be 24 and therefore 120 plus 24 that will be 144 so now new area is what 144 so for 100 it is 144 it means how much change is there 44 percent so the 44 percent increase in the area friends here are few videos that we suggest you please click on to view Squaring a number closer to 100, 
टाइम एंड वर्क ट्रिक्स एंड टिप्स परसेंटेज टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स बैंकिंग एब्रीविएशंस पजल योर फ्रेंड्स विथ मैथमेटिकल ट्रिक्स एंड विजिट एस एट डब्ल्यू 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 एक्सेल इन पी ओ एग्जाम्स डॉट इन फ्रेंड्स इफ यू हैव एंजॉयड दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक इट शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब इट थैंक यू वेरी मच फ्रेंड्स यू माइट हैव एंजॉयड दिस वीडियो देन गो टू थम्स अप बटन एंड क्लिक देन गो टू शेयर टैप एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स on facebook twitter google plus and many more and to get the updates right in your mailbox don't forget to subscribe thank you very much